I was always taught to hook your grounds up the last anyways. Okay, Glenn, if I don't know where these cables go, and obviously in this case you can kind of see the, the natural lay, how they have been laying. So an educated guy would just say, well, these, these two are clearly positive and this one's clearly negative. But what if I'm not sure? How can I test a no? We would obviously start with a known ground. So you want to set your ohm meter up. And you're going to hook and you're going to check it this way. And you got and if it goes to zero or near zero. Near zero, you've got good ground. Means that it's ground going rate. through so it's the same circuit. Yep. And then on the positive side, if you're lucky, you should get some low resistance as we are here. So we've got a good positive. Okay. So. Which just means they're on the same circuit. Now yeah. what happens if I if I touch a positive to a ground? How will that read? So I know that you're going to get some really high it's, resistance. It's sending uh, resistance. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. It's saying it's not connecting correctly. It's On the ohm, if you don't know what an ohm is, it's that upside down horseshoe. And it's basically sending power out the red. Yep. It's sending power. So when they are the same circuit, it should read zero or very near zero. Yep. And the best way to check it is by testing your putting your two leads together that'll get your numbers there then you can come back over here to your circuit and it should read zero or near zero near zero yep. and that's two so, ohms of resistance even though it's traveling up around the truck and back it's still just like touching those two together 